Hi, this is Mike with Airstream Adventures. Today we're going to take a look at our TV. This particular model is an LG TV. This is our remote. A remote has the power on switch, has an input switch, and a setting switch. Those are the two switches that we want to be familiar with on our remote. So we turn our TV on with the power button. And right away, I'm gonna to go to my inputs. So with my input switch, press input, you can see we have TV or HDMI. HDMI is our DVD player, our Blu-ray DVD player located over in the compartment along with our radio. So if we were to scroll down to HDMI, any DVD disc that we put in our DVD player will start playing automatically on the TV in input HDMI 1. We're going to leave it back up in TV mode. We're going to hit TV. There we go. We're back to our TV screen. Then we're going to hit our setting switch. Our settings is going to allow us to change different features and functions of the screen, picture, and sound. But here I wanted to show you the setting for our channel lineup. So when you're changing park locations going from one geographical area to another, you want to go ahead and download your channel lineup for that particular area. And the way to do that is our setting switch. So here's our setting switch. Sometimes it's located settings, other times it has the setting logo. We hit settings, we arrow over to the left, we arrow down to channel lineup, we hit channel lineup and there's auto tuning. At this point if we hit auto tuning, we have the start, we can see that it's working off our aerial antenna and a signal boost switch. Our signal boost switch is located behind the TV and literally it boosts the signal from our omnidirectional aerial antenna on top of the unit down to the TV itself. And that's located on this white panel with a black button you can see that when we push the button in, the LED light goes off. We've just reduced the signal down to the TV. If we t push the button in, turn the signal boost switch back on, the green LED comes on. So right now, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and start the channel lineup, and it would go through a series of loading up all the channels in this geographical area. And eventually, when it ended and stopped, it would come to the channel that was last selected on the TV or a default channel. I'm going to go back to the TV mode, exit out of our settings mode, and you'll see that when I literally press the little black button on the signal boost panel back here behind the TV with the green LED, when I press that and turn it off, you'll see that this image on the TV will freeze or there'll be no signal. So I just turned it off. The image froze and it's going to go to no signal. Now if I press the little black button in and turning that green LED light back on, that'll boost the signal from the antenna down to the TV and we have a clear image again. So it's important to know that when you operate your TV, you want to be sure you have your signal boost switch turned on. Now that switch is also a parasite drain so that if you're boondocking, off-grid camping, you're working off your inverter switch here, off the battery, that you want to go ahead and turn that switch off when you're not using the TVs, because it is a parasite drain. It's just a little trickle drain, but that in combination with your inverter switch on and maybe a pump switch on, those are all three are parasite drains. So be sure that that one's turned off when you're not using your TV or TVs. So remember, we have our input, and if we scroll down to HDMI and we press HDMI at this point, it's trying to connect to our Blu-ray DVD player. Because the Blu-ray is not turned on, it's not actually seeing the Blu-ray at this point. Let's see what it says. No signals detected. Let's hit, uh, you can switch to available input for inputs. We hit yes. There's no signal from our Blu-ray. So if we step over here to our Blu-ray, our DVD player, and we literally turn it on, green LED light comes on, 
And then when it comes on, you're gonna see over on our TV, we have Blu-ray disc operation and functioning. It's gonna come up with a screen that shows our disc here, our tray at some point. And here's our tray, there's no disc in it, but our tray is ready for us to put a disc in it just by opening it, putting a disc in, closing it, and when we close it, it'll start playing on our TV. So then when we're done watching our disc, we just go to our input switch, scroll up to TV, hit TV, and we can watch whatever's on TV. It's important to know that if you have two TVs in your unit, that you can watch your disc on either TV, both TVs, or you can watch TV on one and disc on the other, or vice versa. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, please visit us at airstreamadventures.com.